Have you ever worked on a drawing or a piece of artwork that you finished, but you can tell it's not quite there. There's something just not right with it, but you're, you're not exactly sure how to fix it. Well, every month with How to Fix Your Art, it's our new live stream that we do uh, at SVS Learn, is we show people how to fix their art. We teach a principle, whether it's poses or composition or color or something like that. And then we actually pull people's artwork and do drawovers and try to fix them. And today for this clip, I have a piece by artist Chris Atkins, which is a really nice, well done drawing, or uh, it's actually a, like a full painting illustration, but it just had something a little bit off with it. Uh, its composition just wasn't quite working, and I show how he could make that so much better, give it a, a direct focal point, and really uh, improve the overall impact of the piece. So watch this clip, check it out, and uh, I'll talk to you after after the clip. This is from uh, Chris Atkins, who submitted this to our critique arena. Uh, a few months ago, and I believe this made it one of our top 16 because it, it really is just a nice, well-rendered illustration, great uh, character designs, cute critters. You know, I love, I love, uh, I love forest animals. So it's a, it's an instant, sort of an instant uh, yes from the three of us. If you look at any of our art, we're we're into some of the forest animal stuff. Um, and, and there's a story, obviously a story going on here. However, it does have some composition problems. And if you look at the main problem here is that you have three competing subject matters. We don't know if we're supposed to look at this family who's just arriving, this uh, chipmunk couple who you know has their bag of cherries that they're showing up with, or are we supposed to be looking at um, at this table of all the animals already there, which one's priority, which one's important, who's, mm -hmm. which is this telling the, you know, the, the point of view of the story. Right. Um, and so it's, it's just, a, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. Uh, essentially this is, you know, Lee had his little uh, uh, icons of what the, the composition is. Essentially this is what we're looking at three dots. Um, and none of any more importance or, or prominence than any of the others. Now compare that to something like this, um, of the, the big, little, and tiny, right? Um, here you obviously look at this, you get, you instantly see the big dot, and then these two little dots are, are supported. This is just a much more dynamic, interesting thing to look at than, than this right here. Um, Here's another example. Let's say we're, we're going to go by rule of thirds. We're going to put two of these dots on one side and, and balance it against one of these other dots on the other side. But still, th this is a little bit better, but it isn't quite as dynamic as what's going on down here. You don't even have to have a massive dot. You could do two tiny dots and a, and a medium-sized one uh, as far as subject matter and just leave this empty negative space as balance to what's going on here. So there's a lot of different ways to to uh, crack this nut. And in lieu of actually going and starting a new um, illustration from scratch, I was trying to figure out what I could do with the elements that were already in this illustration to try to improve it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a new one down here to look at. Okay. First things first, um, I had to just pick a focal point. I had to decide who this story was about, what point of view we're going to experience the story with. And one of those things was I got rid of our, our young, our, our wealthy chipmunk couple. And I just put them over at the table here. They're joining the party. Um, they're already going to be there. And now immediately things are a little bit more simpler. Um, and actually I didn't quite there's, there's still a guy that's um, now embedded in the tree. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he was he was hurting. He was like <laughs> morphed into the tree there. <laughs> okay. Even just eliminating one of them now, because these guys are overall uh, individually bigger than these other ones, there's less competition. This right here is a little bit, a little bit better. Okay. Um, but what if we got rid of those guys altogether? We added a little bit of atmosphere here and we brought them, flipped them onto the other side and brought them over here. 
now we really are making a statement. We're saying, okay, here's this family of mice. They're running a little bit late. Party's already started. Everybody's there. They're the last ones there. And they're grabbing this kid and they're like, come on. Even the kids distract you. Obviously like, okay, the kid's been, you know, distracting them. And that's why, that's why they're late. Something like that. And this right here, this is, you know, this is uh, an even better version uh, of what we started out with. Now we have a, a point of view. We have a prominent character or set of characters, and we have them balanced against off of something else. So the two are playing on each other, and you're not, uh, you, you know, you're you're naturally cycling through the image, uh, the 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 components of the image to see who's you know what's most important what's what the story is all about but i think we we do one more thing to really uh nail this thing down and that would be i would add foliage in the foreground uh foliage not foliage <laughs> foiled with your foliage foiled, foiled. <laughs> uh and just a little bit of uh shadow here so now it's like we're peering into uh, a nook of the woods. We're following these field mice as we're reaching this opening where all the animals are coming together. And then I think, you know, uh, I got to this point. I was like, yeah, that's good. I'd, I'd call this done. And and this, you know, this fix, I think would, would solve a lot of the problems we had, but I was just a little um, uh, uneasy about how things are really dialed into this middle section. So I just moved these guys over to a third mm -hmm. and had these guys down here on a third and just added a little bit more space around them. So it was like a clearing and we're more this, um, you know, this tight little um, uh, dense pocket that the, only the field mice could fit in as it opens up into the, uh, into the, into the world. And so um, this is essentially what I would do, how I'd fix this, the composition, how I'd fix this art, take it from this, no focal point, still beautifully rendered, excellent mm -hmm. work. I mean, Chris is a great illustrator, but, um, by just fixing some of the elements, giving things priority, playing with some of the rules that Lee had talked to us about, you can really give your piece some punch and some impact. Hey, yeah. can I, can I do a little art direction here? Yeah, yeah absolutely. me too. <laughs> is is uh, this will be the Will Terry art direction? I'm going to go ahead and do it, but this is what Will Terry's going to say. See if you can tell um, what I would do, and I'll tell him what okay. you. Okay, is is the the leaves and those characters in the front on their own layers together? Are they grouped together? Like in Photoshop? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, in Photoshop. Yeah. Grab Dark, those darker. Uh, yeah, grab those. Just those elements. Grab. Just select all the layers for that foreground. Okay. Make a layer group. Okay, wait, hold Make on. Make a layer mask. Lee's going to want a layer mask. <laughs> no, 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 no layer mask. <laughs> I'm just going to basically gonna do it this way. I want to darken all that stuff in the front. Dark. Oh, this is yeah. the weak, weak Photoshop on. way, yep. but okay, that's cool. Yep, including the mice. Yeah, that's the Will Terry effect right there. That's I've actually labeled that principle. That's it. It's the, the Will Terry foreground. <laughs> is that what you were going to say? Yep. Boom. Knew it. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna really do this. We're gonna do a dark Just, purple. Yeah. Oh, that's that is Will it. Terry. There you go. It's got to be purple. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> See, start organizing your space. That makes such a difference. Yeah. So good. <laughs> so yeah, look at these two, right? I mean, just I mean, when you even zoom small, out. even yeah, even zoomed out, you can tell a big, huge difference. Yeah. And it, what it does is it separates those two environments, like where the party's happening, it's out in the open, it's, it's lively. And these guys are coming from the woods through the shadows and all mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. 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 Thanks yeah. for that. I, I like, you know, every time I'm just going to do a little bit, I'm just going to do 90% so that you guys can look good with that last 10% <laughs> of, of polish. <laughs> oh, that That's what I do with my clients. I leave like an eyeball off of one of my characters and then they chime in like, Hey, you need to add that eye. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, thank you. And then they don't say anything else about it. <laughs> the rest of it. That's really good. <laughs> 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Now, if you want to have your art submitted to How to Fix Your Art to get it fixed, go to sfacelearn.com, click on the, the forum link up at the top, and then uh, there's a thread in our forums where you can submit your art, artwork to be considered to, uh, to be fixed for How to Fix Your Art. And every month, this live stream happens on the third Thursday. So third Thursday every month, check out How to Fix Your Art. The live stream stays up for about 28 to 44 hours, 24 to 48 hours, depending on when we get to it. And then we archive them uh, for the, the svslearn.com subscribers. So if you wanna have access to them later, um, you, you're gonna to wanna to become a, a subscriber to SVS Learn. We have a two week free trial right now for that. So you could check it out, kick the tires, see if it's for you, but I guarantee you're gonna love it. We have over 80 classes on showing you, like these are long form classes showing you how to do everything from uh, basic color theory to perspective to um, character design to vehicle design, stuff like that. So you're gonna to wanna to check out svslearn.com, try out that, do that free trial, see if it's for you, and then we hope to see you in How to Fix Your Art at some point. And I think that's it, now go draw something.